house, dripping in lights, next to a field all aglow with holiday cheer. From more than a hundred figures and twinkling tannin bombs to a hundred thousand bulbs. One look, and it's no surprise that the man behind this display in Panacook is known as Mr. Lights. The fun part is trying to get it all hooked up, with, uh, wired up. Oh my God. When Don Moore started decorating his house on Borough Road almost 30 years ago, his neighbors decked the halls too. And this guy moved, this guy started a business, so they couldn't do it anymore. So I'm like, geez, am I gonna stop too? And I said, no, you know what? I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep going and going. And did he ever. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> I do. It gets bigger and bigger every year. Setting it all up takes weeks. That big snowman can go like right in the middle, I think. Family and neighbors helped to get out all the decorations he's accumulated over the years. Somewhere right in the middle there. How is Don as a supervisor? Um, he's very bossy. Very bossy. So if you grab the rear end, I'll grab the front. How many extension cords do you have going? Probably five miles anyway. Five miles? <laughs> Whoa. As big as his display is, he'd like to make it even bigger with help from his next door neighbor. I'm gonna go over in his yard and I'm gonna tap into, into his power and he's not even gonna know it. <laughs> I'll get an extension cord that blends right in with the grass. Mr. and Mrs. Lights are thrilled their display is part of many family traditions. I like the way we put smiles on people's faces when they stop by. Great job, guys. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank Merry you. Christmas. These are grown people now, and they said they can remember going by when it was small with their parents to see it. Now they come by with their kids. The showman responsible for this electrifying entertainment on Pond Lane in Fremont has been creating Christmas displays since he was in high school. When I was 16 years old, my father decided he was just going to do the little tree out front, and I said, I'll take over for you, Dad. Michael Daly started putting on quite the show at his folks' house in Atkinson. Well, my father used to always joke that one day a 747 was going to try and land in the driveway. Good evening from the Daly Family Festival of Light. When he moved into his own house, he started taking his extravaganza to a whole new level. Fun part is always plugging everything in. Michael spends each fall rolling out the lights, cranking up Santa's sleigh, and putting snowflakes high atop the trees. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you put it for. His display is blinding, but one year it left the neighborhood in the dark after he blew the transformer in front of his house. At first, the guy from the power company didn't believe his lights were to blame. So he uh, ended up putting a whole new transformer on, and he's facing away from the house. He turns on the power, and everything lights up. And he turns around and goes, yeah, that'll do it. So they came back and ended up putting on a bigger transformer. This display is a fundraiser, too. Donations go to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. There was one little girl and her mother who sat there and watched the, the show five or six times, and the little girl, she was about four, asked if she could stay all night. And just that's, that's really what gets us excited. The kids put the phones down, 
they watch the show, you're doing something as a family, and it's a memory, just like me, you're gonna have for the rest of your life. Bedford on Bar Farm Road, the DeSantis family has turned their home into a holiday drive-in. It is a hobby that has uh, grown a little bit out of control, I would say, in the yeah. last few years. But uh, it, it's become something that we, you know, we enjoy, you know, sharing it with the with the community that we live in here, and uh, love to see everyone's reactions. My background: I'm an electrical engineer and a theater tech minor. Right, and so um, I have bubble machines, fog machines, lasers. So we integrate a lot of theatrical elements into our show. This is our setup inside when we're, we're testing. And New Hampshire uh, light show creator Pete DeSatis showed us his high-tech really control good. room. This is our, our wiring diagram for the, uh, for the setup. He's got spreadsheets to keep track of every light, every cable, and every wire. We mix together things from the old and new, and it makes for a very original, entertaining experience for anyone who comes of all ages. Some parts they just giggle at. It's, and then when Elsa pops up, um, the girls and all the children are amazed. The six video projectors are the are what make it, I would say, unique. Uh, we're able to project against a, a 70 foot canvas in 4K resolution. And uh, that makes for a whole immersive experience where the entire house is a projection surface. I'd say it's a very high tech show. Um, we don't have a ton of props and blow molds, and it's it's sort of a drive-in movie theater. Uh, we have some, you know, very very high-tech devices. You can text your names to the to the screen; it'll show up with uh, funny sayings back to you. I'm sure the kids are like, again, again. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> we have multiple repeat visitors. And from their homes to yours, may your holiday be merry and bright.